Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today and we're going to be looking at creating a camera zoom or something that when you say you right click on your mouse, your camera is going to zoom in. So all I've got or all you will need is a blank scene and you're going to need a first person controller. So you can get that from your standard assets, um, characters and a first person controller prefab and you can import that in if you right click on the project panel import package characters if you don't have those you may have not installed them when you first installed unity you can get them from the asset store under standard assets when you drag the prefab into your scene or into the hierarchy you will get two things you will get your fps controller if that's what you're going to use with the things that will work for that and if you open that out you will get first person character which classes as your camera and that's the thing that we're going to change today so we're going to actually change the field of view so almost the field of view will get smaller so it will zoom in so what we'll do is we're going to create a script so we'll right click in the project panel click create and i'm going to choose a javascript file and i'm going to call this camera zoom call it whatever you want then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up so once we're here in Visual Studio what I like to do is I like to rearrange my curly brackets how I like it so when we're first here we're in the public class or the first class that we're actually given so first of all when we're in our public class what we want to do is we're going to start by writing a few variables and such so we're going to need to control how much we're going to need to zoom, how much we're going to need to um, have our normal amount and what we're going to want to do from there. So what we can say is we can set the first value to an integer, int, have that as called zoom and we can have that equal to 20. Then what we'll do is we'll have another integer, we'll have an integer and we can have it normal for the normal amount that we're going to have and we're going to set it to our normal field of view and if we go back into unity just to test this you can see that if i click on the first person character and you can see that the field of view normally is 60. so we can change this in the inspector if we want to or we could actually um, make it a private if we wanted to but for the sake of this i'll leave it as public then what i want to do is we'll have a float call this smooth and set it equal to five and this is going to be the value they're going to use to smooth out the camera motion so it doesn't just go from 60 to 20 instantly you can leave that and don't have the smooth in but the smooth just allows it to do a smoother transition between it then what we could then do is write private bool so we're going to have a private boolean here which is going to be called is zoomed and set that equal to false to begin with and add a semicolon so this is just going to be to control whether we've zoomed in or out or not then below here we're going to have a void update then we're going to have the two brackets and two curly brackets below then from there we're going to say that if input dot get mouse button down and then we want to have brackets one and one in brackets for in this instance it means the right click where zero would be left click so when we're going to right click we're going to be able to do the zoom then we're going to have two curly brackets below there and then we're going to say that is zoomed is equal to exclamation mark is zoomed with a semicolon and all this is doing is it's just say, saying to itself is that is zoomed is currently equal to false when we right click we want it to be set as exactly the opposite of what it's currently at so if it's false and we right click it'll turn it to true and if it's true when we right click it'll be turning it to false so it just does it easily for us without us doing that much coding then what we'll do is we'll have another if statement under here we'll say that if is zoomed and we'll have two curly brackets under there so what is zoomed means is that we can do two different instances of this so is zoomed all means is that um, in this case when it's in the conditional statement is that if is zoomed is equal to true so it'd be the same as writing that whereas if we did is zoomed with an exclamation mark in the front it would set it 
be equal to false, it would be like writing that. So for this instance, we're saying that if is zoomed is equal true. So in time inside our curly brackets, we're going to be writing what we want to do here is we'll be saying it get component. So we're going to be looking for a component that we're after. We're going to put two angled brackets in there and we're going to be searching for the camera. So we're going to be looking for the camera component because we're going to have this on our main camera. Then we'll put two curly, uh, two normal brackets afterwards. Then we'll say dot field of view equals math f dot lerp. And then we're going to open up the brackets again. And here we're going to say get component again. And then we're going to have angle brackets again, just like we did. We're going to search for camera. And then we're going to put the two brackets and we're going to say dot field of view. And then we're going to put the word zoom and then comma time dot delta time times by the smooth. And then at the end of our statement, we'll just put a semicolon. So all this is saying is we're saying we're looking for the component camera and we're looking for the field of view. And then what we're going to do with the field of view is we're going to lerp it. So lerp just allows you to do a smooth or a smooth transition between certain values. So we're going to lerp the camera field of view with the zoom amount. So the zoom amount is 20. So we want to move the field of view to 20, but based on a smooth value. So based on time dot delta time is done every frame. So every frame we move will move um, five units every time. So it'll smoothly make us move without it being too jittery. And seeing as though that'll move us into the um, slightly zoomed in view, we need to be able to zoom out. So what we're going to write under here is we're going to write an else statement with two curly brackets. And we're going to say that if we're zoomed in, we're going to do this. If we do anything else, so if we're not zoomed in anymore, we're going to just pretty much do the same thing. So we're going to copy this line here. And we're just going to paste it in again. And the only thing we need to do is change zoom to normal. So then we're going to pretty much just zoom back out from what we had. So we have the exact same thing. So all we're doing is we're checking to see if we're right clicking. We're setting the Boolean true or false directly opposite to what it currently is. We'll say that if it's zoomed, we'll zoom in. If anything else, we'll zoom out. So we'll go back on to the first person character. We'll drag the camera zoom script onto there. And then what we'll do is we'll press play. And you'll see that I can then zoom in when I right click and zoom out. And it doesn't matter how many times I do it, I can still do everything that I need to. And what we might want to do up here is so we can see these in the inspector, I'll just write public in front of all these um, variables that we've got because they'll automatically be set to um, private if not. So zoom, can, we could set that to say one and we'll zoom in really far. We can have the normal, we can have the smooth up to 20 so it does it much quicker. So we can then press play and you can see that I've zoomed in a ridiculous amount and I can't even see where I am but it's much faster than it already was but it still makes it a smooth amount. So really all you need to remember is that we're doing it based on um, a, a field of view change based on zoom amount, a normal amount and a smooth value. We're changing a boolean depending on where we right click and then we're just checking and changing the field of view accordingly to what we've clicked. So hopefully this helps you out and helps you just create something simple which I think a lot of games would benefit from using. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.